Complex ankle sprains involve much higher grade injuries to the ATFL, CFL or deltoid ligaments. Commonly, they also involve damage to the syndesmosis ligaments and there is associated bone and cartilage injury. Complex ankle sprains are less likely to recover without surgery, or they may require longer periods of non-operative management compared to simple ankle sprains. My educational video, How Does an Ankle Joint Work, explains what all the bones and ligaments of your ankle do. So check that out on my website if you haven't already, otherwise the next section may be a bit confusing. The injury mechanism for a complex ankle sprain is often more severe, such as a significant sporting injury, falling from a bike at high speed, or even slipping over in high heels. However, it is also true that a complex ankle sprain can also occur with a relatively minor injury. Sometimes you can just be unlucky. Many patients over the years have shown me photos on their phone of what their ankle looked like a few days after injury. And often they describe it as looking black and blue and puffed up like a balloon. These are not minor injuries and a lot of force has gone through the ankle joint. In this situation, I'd recommend that you see a podiatrist, general practitioner or sports doctor as soon as you can. Usually they'll start by arranging an x-ray and examining your joint. The x-ray will help to exclude any major fractures. Even though we can't see cartilage and ligaments on an x-ray, major injuries of these structures will often change the alignment of the ankle bones and we can see that on an x-ray. An x-ray is a very valuable tool for assessing all complex ankle sprains. The best ankle x-rays are with you standing up, putting weight through your joint, because they show us if the joint moves apart due to ligament damage. So if you're not too painful, ask your doctor if they can organise an x-ray like this. If there is a suspicion of a cartilage or syndesmosis injury, then an MRI scan is usually very valuable, as this does allow us to see all the ligaments, bone and cartilage in your ankle joint. If an MRI scan excludes major cartilage or major syndesmotic injuries, then often we can still attempt a period of non-surgical management. But this will be a lot slower recovery than a simple ankle sprain. You may need to walk in a moon boot for four to six weeks, and full recovery may be three to six months or longer. Your rehabilitation will need to be carefully overseen by an experienced sports physiotherapist or podiatrist. Otherwise, your long-term outcome will be poor. One crucial piece of advice I have for patients is not to get stuck in a brace or moon boot for weeks and weeks without moving your ankle. If a boot is required for pain management or to support your ankle while walking on it, then that is totally fine. But only wear it when you are weight bearing and otherwise take it off and get your ankle moving as much as possible. You're not going to hurt your ankle by moving it, far from it. If you remain in the boot for six to eight weeks without taking it off for movement, then your ankle will become very stiff and weak, and some of this could be permanent. Cartilage or syndesmotic injuries should ideally be discussed with an orthopedic surgeon, so they can examine your ankle, view the scans, and explain the pros and cons of surgery. In general, unstable syndesmotic injuries, where the two leg bones have separated, have a very poor long-term result if managed without surgery. The leg bones will heal slightly separated and this creates uneven stress through your ankle joint and there is a high risk of ongoing pain and arthritis. Significant cartilage injuries, especially if there is a loose piece of cartilage floating free in the joint, also require surgery. Of course, surgery should only be considered if non-operative management has failed and you can learn more about this in my Simple Ankle Sprains video. Ankle surgery usually takes place under general anaesthesia, so you will be asleep. It is usually day surgery or a one night stay in hospital. An ankle arthroscopy, or keyhole surgery, is performed through two small incisions on the front of your ankle joint, about three to five millimetres in size. You may also require another incision, about three to four centimetres in length, on the outer side of your ankle. The ankle joint is inspected with a camera to ensure there is no cartilage damage that needs to be treated. Even the best MRI scans will not diagnose a significant number of ankle cartilage injuries. So arthroscopy is the absolute gold standard to assess and treat this. If there is a small piece of cartilage loose within the joint, then this would require simple removal. 
If there was a larger piece of damaged bone and cartilage, then this may require fixing back into place with a small screw. Sometimes, a large piece of cartilage has broken loose, but it is too severely damaged to be fixed back into place. This may require a keyhole procedure called a microfracture. There is a specific educational video on what a microfracture is and how it helps your ankle joint on my website. We also remove the inflamed scar tissue inside the joint, and this is called arthrofibrosis. Removing this, along with any blood that is set in the joint, will help your ankle move more freely after surgery and reduce the risk of stiffness. If you have a severe syndesmosis injury, where the two leg bones have separated, then the first thing we need to do is put those bones back together anatomically. But we then need to hold those bones together securely so they can't move apart and the ligaments heal in exactly the same position. This means that your ankle bones will heal with normal congruity for your ankle joint. We perform syndesmosis surgery with a technology called a tightrope. Now a tightrope is just a very strong piece of suture material with a small metal button at each end. What we do is actually drill a small hole or tunnel through the fibula and then also through the shin bone or tibia. We then thread the tightrope in between the two bones and with the buttons tie the bones back together securely in their perfect position so they can't move. The ruptured syndesmotic ligaments will then heal back in place over the next six to eight weeks. Once they have healed, the tightrope has finished its job. It's just a temporary holding device until those ligaments heal. There is usually no need to ever remove the tightrope and it can remain inside your ankle for the rest of your life. Most patients won't even know that it's there. Occasionally, a patient may be bothered by the metal buttons beneath the skin. In this situation, the buttons and the tightrope can be removed with a small day surgery procedure six or more months after the operation. If you have major injuries to the other ligaments around the ankle, such as the deltoid ligament, then these may also require surgical repair during the same operation. Suture material is used to repair the torn ligament back down to the bone so that it can heal strongly. Severe deltoid ligament injuries like this are actually quite rare. Severe ankle ligament injuries are commonly associated with fractures of the tibia and fibula. If these fractures have moved significantly from their original position, then they may require what is called open reduction and internal fixation. This involves putting the bones back together and holding them in place with plates and screws until they heal. If we don't do this, your bones will heal outside of their normal alignment and you'll have an incongruent ankle joint with a higher risk of arthritis. These plates and screws may sometimes require removal six months later as they can irritate skin and other soft tissues. If they're not bothering you, then they can actually stay where they are for the rest of your life. They won't do you any harm. Recovery from complex ankle sprain surgery does vary depending upon the severity of your ankle injury and the exact type of surgery required. In general, most patients could return to study or work within one to two weeks of surgery. If you have a manual job, you may require four to six weeks off work. You can download a fact sheet from my website and this will guide you through the recovery process after your specific injury and surgery. Because I have a special interest in acute ankle injuries, I keep some appointments free every week to see patients who need to be seen quickly. This means I can usually see you within a few days if required and surgery could be arranged soon after this if necessary. If you'd like to talk to me about your ankle, then please call my rooms at any time to arrange an appointment. If you haven't already had appropriate scans, then I can easily arrange these prior to seeing you.